Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Collector's Vault. My name is Mike, and uh, we are awaiting for a very exciting video to be uh, to go live on YouTube. Uh, Mr. PokeRev is opening up a first edition base set Pokemon uh, booster box. Just these are becoming very, very hard to come by. These are like almost an, <laughs> they're almost impossible to find, like you know, out in the wild, as opposed to the people who already own them in their private collections or like a, like a big time uh, store owner. So, this is very exciting. Uh, I think he purchased the box from TCA Gaming, and I think he's going to open it up. And, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see uh, if they actually do open up the packs and see what he pulls. Uh, from what I understand, uh, th there are going to be some packs that are not opened. I think he... I, I, I spoke to him on, on uh, Instagram, and I think he said that he is going to be opening up some and keeping some uh, sealed, I guess, at the... Uh, the expense of people who purchased the packs from him on Instagram or on email. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can make this. Uh... And then we'll do the spaghetti. You do the spaghetti first. Oh, it's gonna it's get being cold. Funny. You gotta do the sauce. Listen, I gotta go. We're doing something big tonight here. What is going on, guys? My oh, name boy. is Pokerev, and Exciting. welcome to the Poke Cave. Today we are making history right here in the Poke Cave because we oh, are opening up a first edition base set booster box. Now, if you guys don't know, this box is valued over ninety thousand dollars. So check it out right in front of me. Here it is. There it the is. The first edition base set booster box, guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here with all of you guys right now. We are going to be making history because we are opening up I'm this excited. booster box. So check it out. This was brought to you by TCA Gaming. It would not be possible without him. He's a great friend of mine, a great Poketuber, and just a great person. So guys, make sure if you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to him. He is the man, seriously. You have to check him out if you don't know TCA Gaming. But here it is. You know, this TCA Gaming actually got ripped off at about six months ago on a Scott's. fake first edition box. Every angle of this on camera here, just so we know when we're cracking into this. Yeah, his box was every uh, little detail re, re, uh, in the wrap here. So here's the top. It was a shame. We got the back and the sides there. So that should be every angle. If you guys are ready to go, we are going to cut into this $90,000 oh, plus man. booster box. The original Pokemon cards. First edition Shadowless. You can pull out of here the first edition base set Charizard worth $50,000 plus in PSA 10 and so many more cards. Blast Probably more by PSA now. PSA 10, $7,500. You have Chansey, easily over five six thousand $6,000. Uh, Venusaur, $5,000. There are commons in this box that are worth hundreds of dollars. It's and true. rare non house I'm going to stop. I'm going to go into this. PSA 10 specifically. I can't believe we're doing this right now, guys. Here we go. The moment of truth. My hands. Well, here's something for you guys to know. Shaking. The, the risk so is, is just because you're opening a fresh box does not mean that We're all of the cards right are going to be now, PSA 10 Ooh. quality. All right. I would hope that most this of them are, but again, it's very possible guys, that you might get like a lot of 8 and 9s back if you were to grade every single card box. in this box. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, you can't make this up right now. This is some serious, serious stuff. But here we go, guys. Oh, We're man. Gonna just watch these be scaled packs. this box. It's a repackaged box. Moment of truth. Oh, there it is, guys. Uh, no, they look pretty legit. Edition booster packs. Oh. We have the Venusaur. History in the making, guys. We have the Blastoise. Woo. I'm not sure what he's we doing as far as, like, Charizard. selling the packs. So everything is looking good so far here. And what we are going to do, like okay. we always do, no matter what the box is, we are going to mix up every single pack. That is it. This That's fair. This is... A legit first edition base set booster box. So here we go. Every single pack out of here. I'm going to be very, very gentle with these. When yeah, I mix seriously. Them up here. I was <laughs> watch him like do like the uh, the bridge it, like with actual playing cards. Two thousand live viewers. This is in all the cards go from right PSA now, ten to a PSA six. We're going into this again, guys. If you're just joining up here, this is a first edition base set booster box of Pokemon cards. Value at ninety thousand dollars plus. That is what the last privately sold one went for. I'm gonna keep mixing these up. I want these. You know, Leonhart purchased one of these recently. Um, I, I, I wonder what he spent on it. That I will ever do here. He might mention on his down. channel. So here we go. All right, guys. I think we're just about mixed up good enough. Here we go, guys. We're gonna start putting the packs back in like we always do here, and then we are gonna start cracking into these. Oh. Guys, let me know. 
it, what you think we are gonna get out of here if you think we're gonna get the charizard let me know if you think we're gonna get the blastoids let me know guys i want to know fun right fact now, but more a sad fact out of here you are it's not guaranteed that Charizard in these boxes. I, if, if anything, you're not guaranteed any specific hollow. It is very possible if you did not pull a certain hollow in the set. That are worth hundreds of dollars. There are rare non hollows that are worth, like, some of them are worth almost $1,000 for non hollows. Even the energy cards are worth money. So here we go, guys. We're throwing oh, them in. We're getting man. ready. We're starting off with the first bat, guys. Here we go, guys. Let's get it. We're going into a first edition. Base set booster box. Wait, is he cracking all the packs? I thought he was gonna keep some sealed. Alright, whatever, we'll see. We have Albrich H going in with one booster pack. I'm gonna put this oh, okay. back here, like so. Okay, We're he's calling out the people. Check out every single card that we get out of here. My hands, I cannot make this up, are already shaking like crazy. So here Ooh, we go. Ooh, a Charizard guys. pack. Charizard is going in. So I guess it's random of which, pack. Uh, what, what well, pack you, art you get if you are getting a sealed pack. You guys, don't know. First edition base packs. Because you know, actually, those you, open up because you should be careful. The, the crimps on them are like super, super. Close. You know, the, even the pack, the pack itself is actually worth money. So you should keep that like in, intact. In the back, if I could get my hands steady here. Yeah, so seriously, very, dude. Very, very careful with these, and I'm not fourth car from the back. Because gloves can actually make things worse. You don't know how, how much pressure you're putting on the card or anything like that. But here we go. This is a legit first edition oh, base man. set booster boxer. Starting it off with a Magmar. Magmar is actually a good uncommon. So I'm going to try to tell you guys some of the prices on here. Oh, here we um, go. I have them to the side of me. There's so many. So if I could check, I will. But in a PSA 10, a Magmar is going for about 100 bucks, I believe. That's it? I thought it was harder than that. We got a Pokemon Center. Uh, let me put this over here. So we can see it on I like how I'm glad he has an actual towel down okay. to keep, All right, guys. you know, like a nice soft surface. A Pokemon Center. Raticate. We have a Raticate. We got a Machop. Now for a the Machop commons. Car, I think if the PSA 10 is 60 to $70. You can't make this up, guys. A Squirtle, Every Charmander, Bulbasaur are really good. A Leaf Energy or a Grass Energy. Um, even energy cards are like 30 to 40 bucks in a PSA 10. It's good bulk. We have a Poliwag Oh, the blue. In. I was thinking it was a Squirtle. Um, another card I think might be about 80 bucks. It's hard now, to the uncommons, on the side of me here. We got yeah. a Nidoran like, coming in. Charmeleon, okay, Ivysaur, guys. and War Turtle are big money, we got too. got a Rattata. I think this is also 10. about a $60 card in a PSA 10. And yes, guys, if you don't the know... The centering looks pretty good on some of these. The first it looks like the bottom is a little there. thicker, though. Shadowless. It is everything. It is the top of the top box set everything we're going oh, in right now we got a lightning energy here we go guys we're coming up on one more common card we got the gas oh, let's finish it off strong right now we got a hit my dad coming in out of pack number one guys this is a six thousand dollar plus card in a psa 10 starting it up strong right here in the poker game guys. oh these are a thin stamp it looks these like are thin stamp first yep. edition right. cards so if you guys don't know there are thick stamp and thin uh thin stamp cards that you could get so if you check it out here this common is a thick stamp and this because the one's thin. thicker the one looks different yep. we're starting it off strong guys already with the hitmonchan coming out it looks pretty clean here let's check out the back looking really good it's I don't not see... bad you guys tell me i don't see any whitening there let's check this out my my hands are this is my hand right now <laughs> that real. poor guy all right I think a dream to open up one of these boxes, especially like in modern this, times. Oh, this is looking. We got uh, top right corner, you can see some whitening. Going down the side there. The corners. But this card is looking really, really clean. I like what we're seeing. That means we got a good box. This is a Poke Cave box to start it off with, right there. And check out all the comments, uncommons, everything like that that we have. We're coming up on 3,000 live viewers already tonight in the Well, I'm Poke glad he has the good card so savers, go, the uh, semi-rigid ones. So what I'm going to do... got to be careful with those comments, too. They're worth money. I'm going to put these in the bag for you now, but I will penny sleeve every single card up and be as careful as possible. All right, possible. good man. Again, I am not wearing glove, a glove or anything like that uh, because, honestly, the texture of a glove can actually be worse. Also, PSA grades cards with bare hands. Um, and it actually is true. Like, like you would up, think, like having like like a glove on your hand would be a little better, but actually, so um, go, guys. Albridge with the one. Your actual, if, as long as your hands are nice and dry, oh, man. Oh, man. you actually can uh, pro more properly bag, handle guys. the so, cards. I know that's yours, but uh, I just want to put it to the side there so we can do a recap at the end. We're All already right. started off strong, guys. Let's keep it going right now in the focus game. Cannot believe we are doing this. But next up, oh, man. we got Michael P. coming in with one pack. Let's go, guys, down the left side. And thank you, everybody, for all the Super Chats right now. I cannot 
Unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to get to a lot of them just because I need to try to stay focused here on what we are doing. Um, but again, guys, I thank you so much for it. I see TCA Gaming is here as well. So again, thank you so much, TCA Gaming, for making this possible. You guys, make sure you check him Careful out. Careful, this again, like you, those so packs you know, actually are worth money, believe it or not. Even though it's like Michael trash, those packs are worth money. Even after you open up, you open up the pack, super, super you should try to it. preserve those. People will go, pay. Guys. People will pay money for those. Oh, we got a gray stamp. Okay, guys. So Ooh, if you gray don't stamp. know what a gray stamp is, so it's faded. You can see the stamp there. It's looking lighter. I don't know if you can see it on camera very well, but that is a gray stamp card. I love it, guys. We already have gray stamps. It does not affect the now, price negatively. It actually is like we some people like gray stamp. So we got a revive. Right, so on commons, we're man. A pidgey. pidgey. We saw that one, I think. Coming up next, uh, we're gonna have an Abra. Abra's not bad. It's a good common. All right. Oh, we got the Metapod. Again, yeah. guys, it's hard to say exact prices on these, but commons like these ones, probably, you know, I think the cheapest you could get them for are like 70 bucks. Some of them go up to $100 or more, depending on the common. Some of them are hundreds of dollars. We got a Water Energy coming up on a Diglett. Let's go, let's go. Next up, we got a Star you. You. We're gonna Oh, wait, you should, you, you should check for the Diglets. I think the Diglets can have misprints on the Energy. Oh, no, we're not. The like, Energy could be like uh, a 90-degree turn. Last card was... Oh, we got a de-evolution spray coming in as the non-hollow rare. Those but boring non-hollow ra trainer burned. rares. Um, I do not know. Where is it? De-evolution spray. Uh, $1,000. Guys, this card is worth $1,000 in a PSA 10. That's what I'm saying. Even yeah, but the guy paid $2,500 for it, um, and he I cracked mean, it open. This thing. A thousand bucks. It's risky. That's why it's risky to open up these packs. It's, like, it's cool if you get them good, good but... The back is looking really good. And for those of you guys that don't know, PSA grades the cards on a scale from 1 to 10. 10 being the best. If this got a 10, it'd be no. worth a thousand bucks. All of these cards here are probably 70 to $100 at yeah. least. If I'm yeah, the there's like several hundred dollars right there, so... Way, it's awesome. Unfortunately, so, because you know, guys, it's all about pulling the hollows. Live viewers right now in the Some of the rare trainers actually are pretty good. Like Last, I think, is a good one. Just joining up here. And the Pokemon Logan, are obviously better. The trainers are the worst of the rare, not, the non hollow <laughs> like, rares. Right now, so like, at least, like, Beedrill and Pidgeotto Pokemon and Dugtrio, they're Vintage better. Uh, Let the Buzz, there's a couple other ones. They're the uh, Dragonair. They're the, the good, rare, non hollow rare. Uh, the non hollow rares you want to pull. Once I miss these, I'm telling you guys right now. But here we go. Coming up next, we are going to have Jonathan B coming in. Also with one pack, we have a lot of one pack people coming up here, and that is the best thing because you can do one pack magic like we saw already. So Jonathan B, let's get it. You're starting off with a, a Blastoise, Blastoise pack. So Blastoise is my favorite. Maybe. I love Charizard and I love Venusaur. Venusaur is my least favorite, and pack. Blastoise that is my favorite. Insane. Again, that card is worth. All right, that was, he actually did a good job opening that pack up. Hundred dollars in a PSA Ted. So let's go, guys! Right now, I need everybody in the chat. Oh man! Let's get it. If you're new here, leave an emoji for good luck. Oh, there it is. You guys already started. Oh, with Ivysaur. Ivysaur. There we go. Good now, uncommon. This card is an uncommon. If I could find it on here, seven hundred bucks. Priced out every single card here. This is three hundred dollars in a PSA uh, Ted. If you get this card, more. Maybe, maybe War Turtle. Right now, I think War Turtle is the most for some reason. Oh, I thought they were worth more than 300. See you in the house with the super chat. Thank you so much. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Char Charmander go for $300. PSA 10. So I thought, I thought the Ivers would be a lot, a lot more. Um, just a really great guy. And Andrew as well. We got he just dropped the cards. <laughs> then we got the Polywag. Coming up on a Nidoran. Uh, we got a Rattata. Oh, got some we're repeats. Some this better, is uh, the same order as the first pack. Here. We want to get the Charmander. We want to get Squirtle. We want to get Bulbasaur. We even want Caterpie, believe it or not. Yeah, actually, Caterpie is actually really energy. hard to green. Oh, like that. Ah, spoiler. <laughs> I totally just messed that up. The ghastly Dojo. Ooh, that's the purple, the purple background. I like that. There, guys. How insane is this? The Polyrath coming in as hollow number two. I got to get the head steady. But there it is, guys. Check Here, it out. Careful. Polyrath. I'm scared that he might be spinning on the cards because he's screaming so loud. This is absolutely insane, guys. You probably should be wearing those masks that, like... Trying to find the price on here. I can't find it. Two, uh, around 2200 in a PSA 10. Now, this one is going to be a little bit off center there. So, if you check that out, the bottom's uh, too probably thick. probably wouldn't get the PSA 10, but let's see the hollow. I thought the same thing for the. Did Himonchen have a. Have a Himonchen had a, oh, a so thicker vibrant. bottom. Looking really nice. Guys, this is it. The original. Oh, Himonchen can go for a lot more because Himonchen was actually like a say? meta card back when people Hold played on. Pokemon. Like, Guys, yeah, it actually was a playable card. Just discovered something new in the Poke Cave. I don't think this has ever been done before. We just got a thin stamp and a thick stamp out of the same box. 
I don't think this has ever been seen before, guys. Somebody let me know in the chat right now. That I don't know. If you guys don't know, thin stamp. It just means a different stamp sheet. Are different stamp versions of first edition. Yeah, but you had a gray stamp now, too. Normally, so from what I've seen, it is always going to be consistent. Either you get thick stamps or thin stamps. So somebody in the chat right now, let me know what is going on here. Do we have another box that is potentially something that has been unseen before? Like, His face is turning so red. <laughs> No idea, but guys, <laughs> let me know right now in the chat if you know anything about that. Here we go. The Polyrath coming in. Uh, pack number three. We're already two hollows in out of three. Again, this is for Johnny. Yeah, but anyway, Hip on Chan is out. actually two really hollows. hard to grade in PSA 10 because we most okay, of, the, of the existing copies that were played, like, he was, he was actually was a playable card, so. Really well centered here. Uh, they, uh, really, really good. Oh, he's the ones he missed. Out. Yeah, him on Chan actually is like Charizard, as awesome as he is, was not meta. Like back when people played the original Pokemon game, like you wouldn't. The like, Char Charizard was just not good. He was super strong, and powerful, but he wasn't like a good card. So it's it sounds crazy, but him on Chan was actually a really good playable card because he was a basic Pokemon. You could just play him immediately, and so like so yeah, that's why like they're hard to come by in actual mint condition PSA 10, and that's why they grade higher or it's harder to grade, and so they fetch. A higher premium. Next up, we're gonna have Lewis S coming in with the oh, man. fourth pack. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. We're already two hollows in out of three. He said that Normally three times already. <laughs> but I get he, he, he's excited. I, I'd be excited too. Go, but first off, it is actually like heating up in here like crazy. So we're gonna go in for the water. I wonder why. If there was like an infrared, yeah, if I had like infrared really goggles, really I think he would just like be covered in like red and yellow from all the guys, all the screaming he's doing. Lewis S. Coming in with the one pack, gonna be the Blastoise, guys. I cannot believe we already. Is he going left or right? Like just one stack and then the other stack? I don't well, know. Let's get it right now for Lewis S. Everybody in the chat, wish Lewis S. the best of luck, and let's see if Tech we can make it happen outside. tonight. For him. All right, here we did go. a good job preserving the pack. First, my hands are still shaking. Normally, it's over by now with the shake, but nah, with not with this. You gotta be careful with these packs, insane. with so these cards. I, I actually like what oh, TCA right Gaming now, does. Lewis he will take that back card off. and immediately put it into a sleeve, Porygon. regardless. And it's just, oh, we there got it the is. Charmeleon, let's go! Charmeleon in a PSA 10. What are you worth? Six, seven hundred? Um, 350 bucks in a PSA thought, 10. If you could I thought that. they were much more than that. PSA 10, that is or maybe those were all gobbled off, the, gobbled off the market. I don't know. I could have swore they were much higher. War Turtle is the most expensive one. And there is an error in War Turtle. Wait, is it first? I, I'm not sure if the War Turtle comes in as it, with the error. The error is, instead of there being a Squirtle in his evolution box, there's another War Turtle. I don't know if it comes in first edition. I know it comes in unlimited. We got a Drowsy. Come on, guys. Let's get it right now. We got a Poliwag. Finish it off with a big one. Fighting energy. Count the cards, and... man. Oh, we got a um, Mewtwo. Too. Are you kidding me right now? The Poke Game Luck is absolutely insane. Oh, we got three Mewtwo's a good hollow. Already out of four packs. This is insane. Now, this is this. there could be a possibility that there could be more than 12 hollows in this box just because... I did mix it up, right? But there's still a chance, uh, just judging by how much stuff we're getting out yeah. here. So there's 16 hollows in the, the set. First ever. From Alkazam to Zapdos. Edition, you are, as I said, you are not guaranteed all 16 in a box. Three to four thousand dollars. As you said, got another thin stamp coming yeah, 12 in. is like the average. Oh, well. You can get more, you can, you can get less, you can get duplicates. Very, very good. I, don't I don't know if anyone's ever pulled on this double Charizard scary. in the box. I mean, really granted, it's, it's, it's not it's not every day that you see these box openings, so you wouldn't really know. You wouldn't have much of a basis guys, to, ba to base it off really of, but I've seen people pull, like, really multiple. Uh, the one guy, I think T. Sagan did a box, like, so many years ago, and he did pull, like, I think he did pull doubles, and it wasn't of, like, it wasn't Blastoise or Venusaur or Charizard. He did pull one of each. Right which is really good. In the Poke Cave. So everybody in the chat, let's go. Wish Lewis let's S. Go. Congratulations on that first edition. Yeah, good job on that. Too. And all these other pools. Like oh, that too. Uh, right Pikachu here. is another They're good common. super valuable if you grade them and they come back in PSA 10. Um, the Red Cheeks Pikachu guys, in first edition. I believe... Uh, guys, actually, that's why I'm, I'm curious if this is the Red Cheeks Pikachu or the Yellow Cheeks Pikachu, everybody which I believe those come in first edition. Live, everybody that's been supporting the Unlimited the Pikachu is only Yellow Cheeks. There is a Shadowless Red and Yellow. I'm pretty sure there's first edition Red and Yellow. So I'm curious what the Pikachus are. And I believe the Pikachus should all be the same. If the one and only guy is in the house right now, if you get is going in. If you get more Pikachu, they should all be the same same cheeks, I believe. Charizard. And if you guys know Pokedeek, what I need you to do in the chat right now is give me every single lightning bolt and alien emoji we can get for him. Unfortunately, I don't know the guy. He's gonna get this Charizard. 
whatever's in here. So let's go. I am really hoping. I'm just waiting for a Charizard to be pulled. This guy, this really nice when this guy pulls a Charizard, a, or Venusaur or Blastoise, but especially when this guy pulls a Charizard, I think he might. I'm worried he's going to spit on the cards because he's so excited. <laughs> Four packs in and I'd be more excited for the guy watching this, this when that is his pack, pack that he let's paid go, for. Let's go, guys. All right. We That's a cool thing. I don't think, think Pokegrab's keeping any of these. Maintenance. We got a Farfetch. And there's good on commons. Put these out like this. Come on, any good we commons? An Abra. Abra's good. The fire energy coming in. We got the Starmie. We got a Ponyta. Ponyta. Let's go, let's go. Pokedeek. This one is one for more you. Common. We got the fighting energy. We oh. got a Weezing. Here it is. It's probably not hollow, but... Oh, it's a yeah! Red we oh, got no mind. Red One Pikachu more common. Yes. So it is Red Cheeks Pikachu. Yes, guys, if you do not know this, Red Cheeks Pikachu is the rarer and more expensive version of Pikachu. Yep. Now, you could pull out of here a Yellow Cheeks, which means the cheeks on there would be yellow. That is only worth about... Well, when I say only, it's... Yeah. $350 in a PSA 10, but this one... Since it has the red cheeks, it's worth seven hundred. I see a dot right next to the in a PSA the, 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 the attack to his null to the guys. left near the energy. I see a black dot. It may be dirt. Crazy, but crazy not hollows, but we want to see the next card. It's probably not hollow. The card that's worth fifty k plus in a PSA ten. Oh, it's the item finder non hollow coming. It's not bad. He got the he, he got a decent common, but in this pack now item finder. I'm gonna look on here really quickly if I can find it. 650 bucks in a PSA 10. Let's go. This is still an awesome hit. I'm actually going to throw a sleeve on this one now uh, just to be double sure here. Yeah, seriously. With the Pikachu. Because that is a crazy... That's that's what's crazy. This card is worth more than the rare in this pack. Um, and you're going to see that a lot of times. You, you see if we pull Charmander, if we pull the Bulbasaur, if we pull Caterpie. I'm trying to think of all the um, common cards. But yeah, um, it's it's ridiculous. Those These five: cards, the starters, Mav, Caterpie, and Pikachu. Back, and I have a feeling that that's not going to be the last time. What's another good? Pokedex oh, good uncommons are Growlithe guys, and Arcanine. They're both right they're now, both uncommons. Know, honestly, what the, the heck? Are the other good honest, commons? honest opinion. Do you think we're going to pull out the Charizard out of this box? I need to know right I'm now. I'm hoping, man. I just want to see it. You think we could do it here in the Poke Cave? You think it, you think it's going to happen tonight? We shall see, sir. But here we go, guys. I wish I could fast up. forward this, but it's, it's live, so I can't. Fire Energy! I like the name. Fire Energy is coming ah, up next. Funny. Now, Fire Energy says that this pack is going to be in honor of PokerRev and TCA Gaming. So thank you so much, Fire Energy. I really appreciate that. So hopefully, that'll make it happen here. We got some I guess he's going to save the sealed the packs pack, for the end. Number six. I'm guessing. Out of this booster box opening. So here we go. And guys, Man. we're actually not... We're not opening up every single pack out of here. Okay. We are doing... I believe it's 22 packs total, which is insane by itself even just opening one pack of this is ridiculous but guys we're closing in on almost four thousand live viewers here in the poke cave but here we go next up is fire energy's cards we got a kakuna we got the magma Magmar's good let's see what else we're gonna get in here we got the pokemon yeah. center come on let's get some good Coming comments up next is a tangela can we get a charmander a squirtle or any of those starters we got a sand shrew we got the Bill. Bill. Let's go, guys. I think we Bill's a good comment. Emojis right now in the chat. It's, it's a trainer comment. I think Bill actually is a good comment. Of you guys. And like we need Professor Oak, emojis. just because of Professor Oak. Fire. We need everything to get the luck going right now. We got a fighting energy. We got a Ah, uh, I, I love the go, Vulpix. Guys. There it is. We got There's the a Squirtle. Squirtle coming nice. In. What is this one worth in a PSA 10? Squirtle is going to be coming Three, in at how much? 300? What are you worth? What are you That's worth? what I saw last time. I can't find you. Uh, Squirtle is coming in at three hundred dollars. All right, at least I was right about that one. This is like it actually looks like it's really good centering. The one, the first edition, the shallowest. It's got everything. This is the top of the top. But here we go. Oh, I like that. That is the fire. Your name is Fire Energy. You got the Fire Energy card here. I think there's gonna be a charge up behind you guys. I need everybody right now. Blow the chat up. Let's get oh, it. Oh man, three, here he comes. Here he comes. One. Oh, we got an Electrode non-hollow card. I forgot about Electrode. As the non-hollow rare card out of here. Let's see what this one is going for. I have no idea. Coming in. Probably like 500 bucks. At 300 bucks in a That's PSA oh, 10, wow. so not bad. But there we go. And you got the Squirtle as well. I'm going to throw that one in. Fun and fact, there actually is, is course, that like, art for Electrode is actually a misprint in the Jungle set. The there Jungle set does have... Has his own copy of Electro with with like you know, its own a different HP, different attack, different artwork. But there actually is a misprint that has that arc on it. So it's a little fun fact. Every single card in here is valuable. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's an energy card. It's worth money. 
So here it is. That one. Texting fiance one. again. Fire energy. So there you go. This one is going in to your bag, and we're going to continue. I got a little fire. In I wonder if he's waiting till the end to like open up all the uh, packs. Oh, as in, next like, up, we got Lena's coming in. Let's go. Lena's is back. Yeah, it looks like he's Linus doing all the people who actually want to open it up. Pack. This is going to be pack number seven out of this box size. Let's go. Man, we still we so long to go. Emojis in the chat. We need more. Everybody just getting pumped up right now and make this happen right here in the Poke Cave. Here we go. Coming in. Pack number seven. Let's see what we could do out of this one. So this is we're we're at about the odds or we're we're better than the odds here um, so far, but here we go guys. Let's get some big hits. We got a Kakuna starting off as the first uncommon. Let's see. We got Magmar, Magmar again. Is it we got Pokemon like Center? Turtle. If we can get a War Turtle. Pokemon Center again because we saw that in the last pack. Plus. Pokemon Center. We got a Pokemon. I call Center. that. <laughs> we got the Drowsy. Uh, grass Energy. Onyx. Onyx. Seventy eighty dollar card probably. Same thing with the Pidgey. Lighting I think I think I see a, I, th I think I saw a hollow at the very bottom of the card. So I got a feeling about this pack. I, I think it's a hollow. Linus, I feel like there's something big back here. Whew. Oh, no, the Charmander. The Charmander, though, that is a really good hit. Oh, we got the Charmander. I, I guess a, that's why I had a feeling. I felt like there's a Charizard back there. I don't know why. Char uh, Charmander is coming in at three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. Like there's something back there. I don't know why. I have this weird feeling right now. Oh, the evolution Another, spray. Eh. The char I think it was Decent the Charmander. Comments, at least. I, just, I just felt its presence or something. But actually, that's really good. The de-evolution spray, if you guys already saw it, we pulled it last time. It was worth $1,000 in a PSA 10. So we got to throw that one in the sleeve there. Centering's looking really good. The back is looking really good as well there. So that is awesome. And the Charmander, $300, plus all these other commons um, and uncommons and stuff, all worth you know $100 in the ballpark, depending on which ones. Uh, Magmar, Kakuna, but let's go, guys. Let's get it right now. We're about to hit. 4,000 live viewers here in the Pokecade. I get it. He's just trying to pump people up. It's funny, like, like the mood, like, it does settle down when when you don't pull a hollow. It's like, oh, trainer card. They're awesome friends, and they are here to help all of you guys with any questions that you may have. And they also have their own social media links down there, YouTube channels, Instagrams, everything. They are awesome. I wonder how many subscribers this guy's going to get after doing this doing this opening. Linus, there you go. Coming up next, we got James R. with one pack. We're going in for more one pack magic. I love it. So let's go, guys. Let's get it. He better be keeping track of these, uh, the these, the hollows. I'm sure he he can always just rewatch this to make sure he keeps track of the hollows in the back. I mean, I get he wants to show the hollows for us. I'm just, I just, I think it's fun. He might get them mixed up, but I know he won't. We haven't seen a, a hollow in a little while, but we did start off there super, have, what, super strong. Two packs? Which is awesome to no, see. three packs, I now, think, right? Be pack there's two eight. trainers, and there was so, the Electra, guys, I think. what I need you to do right now is give right? me every single good luck emoji you can think of in the chat. I want every single thing to see. If we can make it happen here in the Poke Cave for James can R. Can I make this picture so a little bigger for you guys? Go, guys. We got a full heal. Let me put that to the side. We got a Dugon coming up next as an uncommon. Can we get a War Turtle? That's better. We got the Defender. No War Turtles yet. We got a lightning energy, the star you. There it is. We got another charm as well. Three hundred dollar card, and might I add, one of the best starters back in the day. I mean, Charmander. This is the first print, the most iconic artwork for Charmander. Metapod. We haven't seen Bulbasaur yet. Nor Caterpie. We get a Bulbasaur out of here. We got the psychic energy. We got an energy removal. Here we go. We got a Magnemite, and we're gonna finish it off right now. Let's get the Charizard. Oh, an one. item finder coming in as non-hollow out of this one. So a non-hollow item finder is actually worth six hundred and fifty dollars in a PSA ten, which that by itself, I mean, is insane. The Charmander, three hundred dollars plus in a PSA ten, plus all these cards. I would say all the comments are worth a minimum of seventy dollars. But guys, that is gonna be for James R. Coming in with pack number eight, but we still got a ton more left. We probably have like 14 Man. more or so to go. Let me check the end of my Discord really quick. Booster box opening. If you guys are just joining up here, this box valued around $90,000 plus, um, and this just keeps going up. I mean, everything in Pokemon has just been exploding, but this is the, the most rare, the oldest set, everything like that, most valuable. This is it for Pokemon. If you guys want to see the best, oldest, you know, craziest set open, that is out there. It's going to be this one. First edition base set. Shadowless everything. Here we go, guys. We're going to here we go, guys. Here because next up. Oh, we got a two packer. I love it. Let's go, guys. Ooh, a next two up, packer. we got LW Damps coming in with two packs. 
So we got the Charizard and the Blastoise. So that is a that's a really strong lineup there. Can we get a hollow or even two hollows oh, out two of packs. here with the double pack magic? I cut the top on that one. I'm gonna go in from the bottom here so I can. Try so right now, I'm, I'm checking on my Discord for a second. If you guys don't know, these packs are super hard to open uh, from the first edition base, specifically the Long Crimps. But there we go. See that even ripped a little bit. But here we go. We just want to get whatever, whatever is inside of here. So let's go, guys. We're gonna do three from the back again. And I want to see that. I want to see the Charizard. I want to see Blastoise, Venusaur. So we far, we do. got three big hits. We got a full heal. We all want to see the, the, the big three the being Dugan. pulled. Defender. Yes. Another Charmander. Another wow. Charmander coming like three in, in a row. A three hundred dollar plus card in a PSA ten. These cards are looking really good. We got a potion. The Onyx. Lightning energy. Come on, guys. Let's get it going right now. A coughing. We got a Magnemite. Psychic energy. It's going to be this one right now. What I need you guys to do oh, is man. everybody light up the chat with good luck. Let's get a big hit out of here for LW Dips. Let's go, guys. I'm not even going to look. I'm going to close my eyes. You tell me what happened. Yeah, close your eyes. Why? We do good? Is that a good hit? Uh, oh, we got a scoop up coming in as non holo trainer. Um, and this one is going to be coming in at... I think it's no, I can't find it. Where is it? I think it's one of the scoop up, scoop up. Where are you? Two hundred and seventy-five to three hundred dollars. I think I think one. someone told me scoop up used to be like like also a meta card. I, I don't don't quote me on that one. Commons. But even though it, was a, it might have been a meta card, it's, it's all about it being an actual Pokemon. The trainer cards are just not obviously the the Pokemon themselves are always cooler, so you always want to get the and plus they're hollow for you know. Set booster box. Let's go, guys. We cracked. Four thousand. We are. Remember, this guy's charging twenty five hundred dollars per pack, again, guys, and you're risking that by opening it up. Here. So this guy My basically. Is this is the Poke Cave. We do live. It's five thousand dollars, and one of them was a bust. Tuesday, Thursday, no, I, like what? A, a try is a, a good common, but like. Subscribe, turn on notifications. You don't want to miss them. Live is the best way to watch these. Start it off with a Nidorino. Let's get a War Turtle. Oh, we got a Kadabra. Kadabra that's a good one. Not seen that one yet. Kadabra, coming in. That's a good gun common. Out of here, it's gonna be worth. 300 bucks. So there you go in a PSI 10. We got a plus power. Metapod coming in. Come on, Bubble Sword. We, we haven't seen one yet. We got psychic energy. Let's go. Let's go. We got an energy removal. We got the Magnemite. Magnemite. We got a water energy coming up on the Nidoran. Oh, we need to get a I miscounted the commons. I was like, wait, hold on. Let's see what you do it. We got a Diglett. I miscounted the commons. We got a dragon, dragon air, air okay. but that actually is not bad. I dragon air. <laughs> I miscount the commons. I'm thinking like, hey, it, it, where's the hall, where's the rare? <laughs> He's pulling out too many commons. Dragon air is worth like a thousand dollars in a PSA ten. Now this one is definitely all center, so I actually don't think that one will get it. The top, the bottom is a little yeah, bit off there, but that is probably one of the best rare Pokemon you can pull out of here. Definitely my favorite for sure. For I gotta change Pokemon, my thumbnail for my one. Uh... LW damps pulls right there. So I'm gonna put all going crazy. over to the side. I'm gonna put them in a bag here for you. And we're gonna keep moving along because we still have a ton more packs here. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna throw these in a sleeve very gently. And again, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna penny sleeve every single one of these cards for you guys because, like I mentioned, they're all valuable. It doesn't even matter if it's, if it's just a regular energy, it is worth some money there. So here we go. LW damps going in two packs. So so unfortunately, he didn't get five thousand dollars worth of cards, but Torsten S coming in with one pack. So let's see if we can make it happen with Torsten S. We haven't seen a Hollow yet in a while. We had the Hitmonchan, we got the Polyrath, we got the Mewtwo, and guys, the quality coming out of this box, I'm very happy to see. They're looking very, very good. This one opened up, and it's the Charizard. All right, let's go. Here we go, guys. This is history right now. I just want to tell you all again how happy that I. I, this makes me to be able to do this with all of you guys right here in the Poke Cave. You guys have been creating such an awesome community, and we're doing it together. Come Everybody on. here, we're making this Arcanine. happen. Arcanine. We haven't seen Arcanine or Growlithe yet. We got a Psychic. Or a again, These are all going out to all of you guys that participated in this booster box. Um, I was going uh, to say Pidgeot. Pidgeot is actually so a rare, happy. not so uncommon. I'm excited to pull these cards out because I know it's going to all of you guys. All the people out there that are supporting the channel, you guys are the ones getting these cards. We got a Water Energy. We got a Diglett. Let's get a big hit right now, guys. Let's get the Charizard out of here for Torsten S. We got a Star You. We got a Polyrath again. <laughs> Another one. Out of like oh, I said, you can get duplicates. Pack number eleven. This one is looking actually really, really well centered. And again, guys, this one I that scares me though when you get a duplicate. Twenty-two hundred dollars in a PSA ten. It is really clean. So this one is a thick stamp. Is this one as well? 
That is also a thick stamp, but this one is like very, very centered well. Let's check out the hollow on here again. Polyrath. Oh, that is looking really, really good. We got a Polyrath first edition Shadowless card coming out of Torsten's one pack magic. So there it is. That is going to be hollow number four coming in. Now, guys, I want to go over something else. We got a duplicate hollow. That means that there potentially could be other duplicate hollows. Um, yeah, here. but it also takes the place of other hollows, and that's what scares me. Because we got four hollows already. Because remember, you're not guaranteed all 16, so if you get a duplicate, it's like, well, that, that slot could have been for one of, anything else. So. And we're going to keep moving along. Going and unfortunately, Polygraph, uh, as you see, is being one of the, the lesser, not lesser, but like yeah, not as expensive up cards you want to get. Also, that's with, not the, du the duplicate pack. that you want to get. Like if it was a duplicate, him on Chan or Mewtwo, just th that would be guys, much better. All the luck, uh, that we get here. So let's move along here. Because next up, oh, well, let me put this to the side, actually. And I'm going to put that there. Go like that, so we can look at the hollows at the end of it. As a recap, so let's keep moving along. We need to get the energy up right now if we're going to get this Charizard. Everybody in the chat, let's go, guys. I'm going to take a sip of water. It's heating up in here. I can tell you guys that. This is crazy. This is crazy. This has never been done before. Never been done before live. We're making it happen. Okay, so uh, Juha and well, It has been done before live, just, pack. I guess, not like this, with you guys. selling the cards out. Because TCA gave him, did he kept all the cards and graded them, I think. Number 12. So. So I believe we have 11 more packs after this. Uh, we still got a long way to go, guys. We are about Man. halfway through this. We're at 4,200 live viewers. We're making history tonight. With I wonder how much you paid for this box. In the Did game. I say it before? For three from the back. Because he said the last one sold for 90,000. Again, I lean hard bought one. I don't know how much he paid for it. We got eradicate. I'm not sure how much he bought this from TSA Gaming. Nope. Pokedex. First, first one we, we saw. Magnemite. Yeah. Water Energy. We got the Nidoran. No Bulbasaur yet. We haven't seen Bulbasaur yet. We got a Diglett. We got an Abra. Fire energy. I always love seeing that. I always love seeing the fire energy. We got a Starmie. We're coming up on the last card right now. Let's get the luck going. Let's get it. Oh, man. Oh, oh the Venusaur. Coming in as hollow number five. This is a huge hit. Worth almost $5,000 in a PSA 10. This is. I think more than the that. Original but... starters fully evolved in hollow form. Coming in. Oh, this is sick. And this one also is a thin stamp. This is crazy. We got a mixture of thin and thick stamps coming out of this box. The centering on this one is actually looking really good. I was going to say, the centering looks pretty good. Right Top and bottom actually look, look really solid. Left and right look pretty solid. No scratches. Really wow, good, the edges look pretty good, too. A really good cut. That's, 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 that's a good Venusaur, guys. guys. <laughs> These are coming out really good. If you check the backs, like, look at this. No whitening. I don't see anything. Do I'll be honest, that? that's... I don't see any white... I mean, I'm happy it was on a Venusaur that had to get that good centering and everything. Out. That is oh, potentially... That is beautiful. That is one, nine... One pack magic in the Poke Cave. That is PSA oh, 10... Uh, PSA yeah, 9 to 10 ridiculous. quality right there. Man, good for that guy. Uh, coming out of 12 packs. Like, that is almost one in two odds. I actually have to make room here. So we are already five hollows in. We could potentially have a box here that might have more than 12 hollows. We're going to see. Now, we might not find out since we're not opening every single pack out of here, but we we're already doing above and beyond um, what, what you normally would expect. But here we go. That is sick to see. All right, so we're going to keep moving along. Because next up, we are going to have PK coming in also with one pack. So, guys, I need everybody here right now. All of you guys. Let's make it happen. Let's get the luck going. Let's oh. see. Venus was a good pull. We get another hollow coming up next. Uh, so PK coming in with one pack, it's going to be... I do wonder how many of these boxes in. actually still exist. So let's go, um, the infamous Gary from Pawn Stars, Gary, Gary, Gary Haas, he actually, I believe, still owns 11 boxes, which is insane. Gary did what we all wish we could have done, is he bought a case, or bought how many cases or boxes back in the old days, and just sat on them, and now he has 11 boxes of base set first edition Pokemon. All legit, too. Alright, we got an energy retrieval. Seal. Dratini, that oh, is the first a Dratini. big hit wow. for an uncommon. So Dratini I forgot about Dratini. Oh, he's uncommon. I forgot about that one. Being worth 300 bucks in Not a bad. PSA 10. So there you go. That is awesome. We got the fire energy. Oh, okay. It, wow, I didn't know that. I did not know you can get different color cheeks. <laughs> I don't know if this has ever been done either. We just got a yellow cheeks Pikachu. Now we're seeing a box. 
this might have been between two different sheets. Um, revisions because we're seeing. No, I think it was the sheets. It's red and yellow cheek Pikachu. It's possible now, this, this box was from two different before, sheets. Maybe, yeah, maybe like an old sheet so, and a newer sheet. This is the three hundred and fifty dollar version, which is sick. This is crazy, right? But we actually had the red version earlier. If you guys saw, I that. did not know that. So, Oh, and a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur Ooh. Here's a little fun fact. Me. All first one of the Shadowless Bulbasaur have a misprint. Bulbasaur Instead of length width, in. it's length Being length. Worth. See? How much? 600 bucks in a PSA 10. Now, guys, look at that centering. That I did not know Bulbasaur really was the higher expensive one. Wow. Bulbasaur. 600. Wow. I did not know that. In a PSA 10, Pikachu 350, Dratini 300. But then you say Ivasaur is like cheaper. I See, I think his prices are a little bit mixed up. We got a lightning. or We got a grass energy. We got an Onyx. Let's finish it off strong, guys. I want to get the Charizard. That is worth uh. <laughs> $50,000 plus in a PSA 10. Let's do it. Pidgey. Let's finish it off right now. Oh, we got a Pokemon, Pokemon Trainer coming uh. in as the final rare card. So, Pokemon Trainer, how much are you worth? Pokemon Trainer, where are you? I don't see you. Pokemon Trainer, 350 bucks. So, you got a lot of really good hits out of here. I'm actually going to grab these other ones. Real quick, just to be double careful here, we got a Bulbasaur. I'm going to throw that in a sleeve here as well. That one is a huge hit uh, for a, a, a non hollow common. The Pikachu is a huge hit for a non... If I get my penny sleeves out of here, here we go. Pikachu, $350 in a PSA 10. Dratini, $300 in a PSA 10. So there you go. And then all the rest of these, probably worth, you yeah. know, besides the energies, around $70 or more, depending on the card here and if it gets a PSA 10 or not. But there we go. That is pretty awesome for a bunch of non hollows. Sometimes you get lucky and you get the good non hollows all in a row. But here we go, guys. We're yeah, Pikachu and the Bulbasaur, they're good commons. Here we go. I'm going to throw uh, that. Uncommon routines are also very good. So that's that like. Was for PK. Well over $1,000 in on uncommons and commons. Josh D. And that is going to be pack number 14. Can we make it happen here in pack number 14? To get a huge hollow hit out of here. All right, guys, we're at 4,300 live viewers. Let's go, guys. We got to get Jeez. the energy up here. That is how we get the luck. So we got a Blastoise. We're already five hollows in here. This is going to be pack number 14. Again, this is for Josh. He's D. almost halfway in only five right hollows. Here, right Granted, he mixed the packs up, so who knows where guys. they're clumping together. All right. See what we could do. Because if 12 is the average, really technically, nice. you're, on be. average, expecting one really more really hollow on this side of the box. All right. Boom. We got an energy retrieval, seal, Dratini. There same, we go. Uh, same cards again. Card. A lot of uh, repetition. We got a Weedle, Ratata. We got a Water Energy, Drowsy, Poliwag, Fighting Energy. This is gonna be it. Everybody, right now in the chat, let's get the luck going. I need every single person throw it in. The I want to see a Blastoise. I, I, I want to see all three being pulled. I really do. Right now. Oh, we got another an electrode non-hollow coming in as another non-hollow out of here. Now, I think I looked. Here's the funny thing: earlier. he's not weighing any of these packs, which is cool. So he he is truly being as fair as possible by just pulling cards out of here and like just you know. He's saying, "Hey, like I'm pulling a card out. This is your pack. I'm pulling a pack out. This is your pack. Whatever it is, that's yours." Opening out of here or so, but guys, we still got a good chance at getting some more huge hits. Out of this first edition base set. It's also very possible that the rest of the hollows might be at the very bottom where they're going to be the sealed packs that go out to the other people. So who knows? sought after Pokemon booster box in the entire world, but it's happening right here, right now. But yeah, back to what I was saying, I do, I do wonder how many are left in existence. Bes like, besides the one that Gary owns, I wonder how much are left in existence. Here we go. Arceus, Sealed. we need everybody. Charizard, we need we need all legendary Pokemon. TC Gaming does have one. He cracked the seal just to verify that it was real because he got scammed out of his previous box. So he has one. Gary has 11. So not including this one right here. That there's about 12 I know that are in. Oh, and Leonhart. That's 13 in existence. And I know there, there's others out there. So that's 13 that I know off the top of my head. The 13 boxes do still exist. So and we're gonna go three from the back. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. We're gonna leave the rare or possibly hollow card for last. Do now, not. guys, when they printed these cards back nope. in 1999, they didn't know Pokemon was gonna be a big thing, so they barely printed enough. We got there it is, finally. Coming in as an uncommon. We haven't seen that one yet. I, Man, I was waiting for that Arcanine. To it. So Arcanine coming in at 275 bucks. That seems so low for an Arcanine. PSA 10. Well, oh my we gosh. Got the fighting energy. Am I waiting? 
We got eight coughing, and they didn't know how much to print of these, so they didn't make enough. They're worried about other card games, Magic the Gathering, things like that. We got a Pikachu, another yellow, yellow, yellow cheese. cheese. So That's interesting. But yeah, he's, he actually is very right that uh, I like the mixture Pokemon was obviously they knew this Pokemon was going to be like successful because it was already doing pretty well. But like initially, when they're printing these things, they had no idea. So that's why first edition is so limited. We got the gust of wind. One second. Coming up on my chop. This is gonna be the last card in this pack. Let's go. We need a big hit right now in the poker game. Oh, we got a Pedro. That's a not bad rare. but that card is worth nine hundred dollars in a PSA ten. So this actually is yeah. a really yeah. good. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say um. Non hollow B drill. Company. Yeah, the whole point. Uh, I, I explained it in my very first video that it was first edition. And they only they only printed so many packs and cards. Obviously, Pokemon was huge, and there was not enough to meet demand. So they made the Shadowless set, which is basically the exact same set, just removed. They removed the first edition stamp, and then there was one print run of that. And when that was out, then they made Unlimited, which had, had the revised artwork and the revised everything was revised. They removed the they added the shadow to give like the picture depth, and they you know they made they so we got lucky here. They changed like most of the errors were, were, were fixed. Really for like this and guys, we know what everybody that became unlimited and then they the just printed that out we to meet the demand we want, and that's why there's so many unlimited right? packs compared to go, the Charles. shadowless the first edition right, so but in theory shadowless pack number 16 shadowless yeah, actually is B. there is just as mad for every first edition card there was a shadowless card there was the same amount there was the exact same print run to my knowledge so I think Shadowless, in many cases, is very undervalued. Technically, yes, they're not as hard to find as first set, because the first set was just ripped open. But, like, Shadowless is really hard. They are rare, to be to be fair. boxes that you need to watch out for. Since these were wrapped in clear wrap, without Wizards of the Coast stamps, um, there, it's possible to get scammed. I got scammed back in the day when I just started. Uh, TCA Gaming got scammed back in the day yeah, when he see. was getting started. So you got to be careful. we got to seal we got to revive. Yeah, they don't have, like, the Wizards logo Larry and stuff. Like, we still haven't seen oh, that War Turtle. That's the first that's one of him we got. Card. I guess that's why you haven't seen it. It might, maybe Is it they the first Nidorino? As, as often as other cards. Uh, because we're seeing these Nidoran. We've Man, I'm surprised War Turtle has to get. We got an and only one Bulbasaur, one Let's Squirtle, too. Wow. Timothy B. Let's get the luck right now. we got a Fire Energy. we got a Starmie. Ponyta coming in. Fighting energy. This is going to be at the final card. Let's get a huge hit right now for Come Timothy on. B. Let's go. Oh, we got another. another oh, no. Oh, no. Three polyrats. Oh, no. Of the state. Well, I have, actually. I've opened up one of these before a while ago, and I had three chancy. But this is the trio of polyrath. Oh, this lucky guy opened up one before. You got three chancy. Wow. Well. Looking really good. It's a little bit off left. That's a right. really thick stamp. On this one. It looks so dark. Look really clean again. The really the colors are really popping on these. Um, they look beautiful. The corners on these are like perfect. So that is a one big thing here that I'm really really liking. These were cut really clean. They were printed really clean. Uh, so they were. Well, yeah, I guess they are lucky that these actually really have been looking pretty solid. Hollow number three. Like four, nothing five, looks like it's off centered already, and we're not even halfway through the box yet. So we are well, doing. Better you are having the box. Right You're at 16 here. packs, so right? Polyrath number three. I don't know how, but we got three polyrath. So, so I'm pretty sure it's 36 in. packs in a box. Along here. Congratulations to Timothy B. We're at 4,500 live viewers here tonight in the Poke Cave. We're doing the craziest thing ever. We're opening up a first edition base set booster box. Oh, man. And it is, it's just blowing my mind right now how much stuff we're getting out here. I'm going to have to move this over again for another hollow. So there it is, guys. Let's keep moving along here. I'm going to throw this in this bag because ooh, we got a big one coming up next, guys. This is going to be really, really awesome. You guys are going to like packs. this one. Three packs. Let me throw this in here. All right. So, guys, up next, we're going to be opening up packs for Eduardo. And he's getting three. Oh, Eduardo man. Eduardo B coming in with three bags. Let's see. Can we do it? Can we get three hollows? Can we do the tree of luck out of these? So <laughs> that, that, that guy would have been the luckiest guy in the face of the earth. And we got another Venusaur. In, wow, he's being very fair, just picking cards out, not being, like, no favoritism, right not doing, like, right like, right there, the guy bought three packs, he didn't give him, like, one of each artwork. I'm surprised. All right, let's do it. Start off with the Charizard. I guess he's being fair. Now let's, he let's did shuffle the cards up. Let's end it with the Charizard. We're going to start with the Venusaur. So here we go. Eduardo B coming in with one pack. Everybody in the chat right now wish Eduardo the best of luck. Let's oh, see if we can get some big hits out of here. We got three from the back. I'm feeling lucky, guys. I'm feeling like we could do it. We First jinx. jinx we got. Wow. 
Coming in as the first one. I don't know what this one is worth off the top of my head, but we're going to keep moving. We got a full heal. Is that the first full heal, too? Kakuna. We got a Jojuo. Fire energy. Let's go. Fire energy for the luck. Gust of wind. We got a Machop. A lightning energy. We're going to get a Ghastly. Let's go, guys. I want to see a Charizard out of here. Oh, the red threw me off there for a second. My my stomach just sank. There's one more. Card. It could be of a nine tail. A nine tails, and he'll freak out because it's red. Oh, we got a the chance. chance. Another hollow in a row. This box is loaded. This card is so rare and so hard to find in a PSA 10. We couldn't even find Chancey's. the prices on it. TCG Revival and Blastoise 93 were going through these. We couldn't even figure it out. Yeah, the Chansey is also a very high heart. The a uh, card's hard to grade. It's anybody's guess. If I had to guess, I would say this card is probably worth maybe seven thousand dollars or more in a PSA. Again, because it was hard a, to grade. So it was a it's a basic a Pokemon, Pokemon and it was actually a really good card. Like it, Chansey was like apparently apparently Chansey was like broken back when Pokemon first started, like in the Pokemon card game. So there are it's hard to find mid condition ones. It is off a little bit. Um, I think it's off center. Actually, it looks like not not off centered. It looks like like it's skewed. Literally just got on the left side. And we're not even technically halfway through the box yet. Pack is looking really, really good. And that is only pack number one for Eduardo. So, guys. Let's oh, my go. gosh. Let's if this guy gets more than one hollow. Again, he can technically still lose money, but, like, again, it's... Again, this card. I don't know what it, it, it's worth. It's tough to say. They're so hard to find. I would say at least 7,000, if I had to guess, in a PSA 10. That is out of one pack. And that is if it would grade the PSA 10. So it's tough to say. It's really tough to say. But I'm trying to think what the worst hollow is. I think Magneton might be the worst. Pack number two. You know what the shame? I, I like Magneton. But I think Magneton is probably the worst hollow to get. I, I guess maybe Polyrath was pretty low. Through this box. What else is there? Already way over the odds. I think Clefairy was... Uh, I think Clefairy's kind of low too. Like compared to the other, other hollows. Seven hollows? Like that is insane. But here we go. All right, three to the front. <clears throat> Let's make it happen right here, right now. We're at 4,600 live viewers. I'm going to do this one more time because there's probably so many new people here. My name is PokerRev. This is the Poke Cave. We do live vintage booster box openings every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. No that Arcanine. is Arcanine, 350 bucks in a PSA 10. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. Bear in mind that not all these cards are going to get PSA 10. Don't want to miss them. It's, it's live right possible, now. but not... Perfectly Lightning likely. Oh, we got First Caterpie. Caterpie. So, guys, you're probably wondering why I'm freaking out right here because it's just a Caterpie. But I believe the last one of these sold for like $400 or more just the other day. This card is pretty hard to find in a PSI 10 for whatever reason. It always yep. has been from all the way back from what I remember all the way five years ago or more. It's always been valuable. You got to switch. Vulpix. I don't think we pulled this one yet. I wonder what this you pulled, one is. This, this is your second one. Come on, man. In a PSA 10. Volbix and Metapod have a uh, misprint. Awesome. So the HP and the number are swapped. Fire energy. Are we coming up on the last card? They should be like number oh, HP, like 40 sword. HP, but it says 50. It says HP 50 on Metapod and we on Volbix. in a row right now. Let's get nah, it. Nah, this guy doesn't deserve it. But I keep doing last card. I don't know why I keep doing this. You're miscounting. I'm miscounting really too. Be the last one. Oh, another Dragonair, Dragonair coming Convera, in though. as the final card in this pack. And not how rare. Now, this, the other Dragonair was off center as well. Uh, but this card in a PSA 10 is a thousand bucks. Yeah, Probably the bottom's the too thick. Maybe it's a little bit more difficult to grade because we've been seeing this one off a little bit um, the last few packs here. But guys, we're going to go into the final pack. I saved it for last for Eduardo uh, B. It's the Charizard. So, guys, the Charizard pack is the finale. Eduardo already got one hollow, the Chansey. This is three packs. This is going to be the Charizard coming in. So can we do it right here, right now, in the Poke Cave? I think we can make it happen, guys. I really think we could do this. We're, we're coming down. We're getting close to it. So we got this pack. That's one. Then we got two, three. We only got four more packs. I think we could still do it. I have I have high hope and high expectations for you guys. We've already done crazy things here. Uh, the odds are just crazy what we've done here. But let's go, guys. I mean, let's three polyrath, right man. That's rough. Oh, we got a double color Again, energy. It's... I believe this is about $200 in a PSA 10. Looks really nicely set. Oh, really? I didn't know that. We got the Growlithe First well. Growlithe. That is another wow. big hit. So Growlithe in a PSA 10 is coming in at 400 bucks. That's more than Arcanine. Right, so this is weird. I'm pretty sure his prices are... I'm not sure what he's doing back. for his, like, Oh, we got the War Turtle. Yo, that is a huge, huge hit. Finally, the War Turtle. PSA 10 War Turtle. It's not the error one. The error one has uh, the Squirtle. The picture of Squirtle is actually a War Turtle. That's the error. Count, but you already got the 
three huge hits for just uncommon cards. That is awesome. We got a bill, the classic bill against the brick wall. If you guys remember that one from back in the day. You got the fighting energy. Oh, a Vulpix coming in. This one, I think it was 150 bucks. These are good hits. These are really good hits for non hollows Oh, and this Another, Squirtle. Oh, what a good pack like for commons and uncommons. Cards we've seen. Squirtle, War Turtle. Does that mean we're going to get a Blastoise back there? Oh, this how one, epic would that be? It's also worth like 250 to 300 bucks in a PSA 10. These are huge. It actually looks really good centering wise. Oh, we got a Fire Energy. Let's go. We got to get the Charizard. We got to get the Charizard. We got a, oh, we got a, a Red Sheet. Oh, it's this dirty. Is, Officially, the best pack for non hollows. This card actually, this pack is kind of crazy so far. Like there's a printing defect there, so check that out. That dirt? Right, there is a drop of ink right between Pikachu's eyes. Oh, now. oh that is interesting. Never seen an error like that before. Um, yeah, but we got it. So that if I don't know All what right. PSA is going to say about that, if it's a printing error or not, but they might pass it through. It depends. 750 in a PSA 10. That I mean, look at these. This is crazy, but can we finish it off with a huge hit right now? The final card. I want to get that Charizard forever. If it's a hollow, I swear to God. Well, oh, my oh my God. This is insane. So many good comments and uncommons. Oh, my God. This guy's. If, there, if there's a hollow in this, I swear to God, this Eduardo guy's the luckiest man alive. For $600 in a PSA 10. He says 700 earlier. I think his prices are all over the place. We're going to finish it off right here, guys. We got to get it. That one also has a defect on Another it. Dragon Another dragon air. Oh, also man. off center. So man, his luck couldn't be that good. <laughs> that I will take. That Bulbasaur had a piece of dirt on the very bottom too. I think. Pikachu, Red Cheek, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, War Turtle, Growl, the Double Colorless, Bulpix, the Dragon Air. That is crazy. So that was Eduardo B's uh, booster pack. But we're gonna keep moving along here. We're gonna go because we got three more packs to open up here in the so Poke Cave. I actually have to. I want to sleeve up a bunch of these right Pokemon. now because these are crazy hits. Um, so that is the, the second Reggie Pikachu that we got out of here. I'm, 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 I'm uh, about to get ready for this uh, other I believe uh, Discord chat with this guy. I'm, I'm just, I, I told him I'll do it after this opening. And I'm just telling him right now, so far the box... Well, this, this, that last pack was pretty exciting, but this box so far is disappointing because I hate I hate seeing the duplicates. So, so here we go, guys. Let's get the... We gotta get... We just gotta get everything going right here, right now. So, Eduardo, I'm gonna put these in here for you. We're going to go very gently and put that in there, like so. I'm going to close that off, and we're going to go to the next person, guys. Next up, we're going to have Clive coming in. Only so a few Clive more packs left. The website, hobbyhelp.com. He's got a really cool guide uh, for collecting, and especially with Pokemon cards. So I would check him out uh, if you want to. Uh, yeah. Here we go. So Sorry. Sorry for that. Here we go. He's going to be getting one pack out of here. So here we go. Boom. Eduardo B. And I'm going to put your Chansey. Over here, if we could fit it, because we got so much stuff. Remember, on average, on average, twelve hollows. Let's go. That's what Next seven. Up, Clyde, so there's about five the left. The Venusaur. We got three more shots to get the Charizard out of here. Can we do it tonight? We've already are again. We're already above what the odds normally would be because this is. Yeah, but you mix them up, so it, who knows? Pack number twenty, and we already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're doing really well. It kind of depends on what these go. next couple are. Get the magic happen, guys. It, like if, if these next four are all non hollows then there's a really good chance that the rest of those are just there's a lot of hollows in there. Guys. Charizard, PSA 10. Oh, we got Ooh, a Kadabra. Kadabra. That is worth a good amount of money as well. So Kadabra. I always thought that Kadabra had a really Kadabra. weird artwork. His finger look it looks like his hand's broken. Like he's missing a finger. You ever see that? It's weird. Plus power. We got a Dugong. Now Charizard in a PSA 10 is looking like fifty thousand dollars or more, which is absolutely insane. Psychic Energy. We got a Tangela. Blastoise, $7,500 in a PSA 10. Venusaur, which we pulled. Five grand or so in a PSA 10. We got the Bill. We got I'm pretty sure that was like from like over, well over a year we ago. A I'm pretty sure there are, there are a lot more by now. Oh, we got oh, a Nido King. King. Another hollow coming out of this well, first nice. edition base set booster box, guys. This is absolutely insane what we're doing here right now. Man. We're way like above King. the odds. We're like so many hollows in on this box. Oh, it's another good hollow is obviously Nido Raichu, King Zapdos. They're they're good eight, ones to get. Um, oh. Alakazam's another big and one. This one it, is also besides a stamp. we got a good mixture here. Besides the uh, the main starters and Mewtwo. Right. Probably honestly wouldn't get the ten with that centering. The let's see the but the hollows are so clean on these. They're like yeah, there's like no roller marks or anything, so that's good. Really, really nice corners. Like, you got to check those out. There's no whitening on these corners, on these cards, which is really hard to find. Uh, but somehow we do make that happen here in the Poke Cave. I don't know how, but I don't know if it's you guys or what, but we do. We usually get the luck here. So here we go. Move that over. 
We're gonna have to move that, that, and that. So we can put the needle in back there. So let's go, guys. There is five hits. That was a really good pack. I love that needle kid. Uh, but we are still on the hunt for the Charizard and even the Blastoise as well. Another huge hit out of here. It's really awesome Pokemon. Um, let's see if we can make it happen here. We gotta make it happen. So we're gonna throw that in here. That's for Clyde because we got two more packs left. We're hoping to two more of these guys. Come on, we gotta make it happen right now. We're running out of time. We're running out of packs to make it happen right here in the Poke Cave. Let's go, guys. All right, so going in, Clyde. Let's make it happen. Come on, guys. I need everybody in the chat, all 4,700 of you guys, which is mind-blowing, to make it happen because we got Pokey Thebe coming up with the Blastoise artwork coming in here. So, one pack, and then we got one more final pack after this. So, can we make it happen right here in the Poke Cave, guys? We got to make it happen. Everybody in the chat, give me all the luck you got. We are running out of packs. We're running out of time to make this happen, but I think... I think you guys can do it. We got three coming in from the back. All right. Let's get it. So, we're starting off very strong. We got the Ivy Sword well, Iris coming nice. in. In a PSA 10, you're going to be looking at about 300 bucks on an Ivy Sword. So, let's see what else we got. We got the Pokemon Center. Machoke. I don't think we see a lot of Machokes. We got a Lightning Energy. Hmm. Ghastly. We got a Ponyta. And this is for Pokey Thief. So everybody in chat, wish Pokey Thief, good luck. Come on, let's get it right now. We're almost out of time. We're almost out of packs to make it happen. We got a Grass Energy. Oh, we Ooh, got the Squirtle. Squirtle. Another good hit, about 300 bucks or so in a PSA 10. We got a Voltorb. Come on, guys, we gotta make it happen right now. Let's get it. Let's get the Charizard. All oh, the Pokemon uh, trainer, trainer coming oh. in as a non-hollow out of that pack <laughs> for uh, Pokey Thief. Good commons and uncommons, though. Squirtle in a sleeve as well. All right, guys. This is going to be... What, two more packs? One more pack. This oh, one more. is our last, last, last chance to make it happen right here. At least right live now. on screen. We got one more big shot. But here we go, guys. Ivysaur going in. Squirtle. Pokemon Trader. We're going to finish it off. This is going to be somebody that most of you guys know. Really awesome person. Somebody who's been supporting the Poke Cave for a while now. And even has their own channel. We're coming in with the one and only Pokedeek is back at it and he is going to be getting the final, the final pack that we're opening up tonight here in the Poke Game. Guys, See, now if this is another non-hollow, then all those sealed packs it. are... All of you guys, 4,800 of you guys right what? now. Eight we hollows. Luck to finish well, this four game. hollows left the out of... Uh, uh, we're gonna open. I take that back. Every single person, let's go. Let's make it happen. Even if you pull a non hollow here, because this is crazy. This there's is still a fair amount of packs in there that the only have about right four hollows left, so it's kind of risky. Sadly, the, the hollow pulls have been not too favorable. I mean, the, the two polyrath are just. It. It, to me, that's disappointing. It. They're cool, but it's like. I love more variants. Get like, Let's get one of each hollow, you know? Enough. Ooh, a Charizard pack. This is the final pack, guys. This is everything right in here. To finish it off. Can we do it? This is our final, final oh, moment. Man. Can we get it? Can we get the Charizard as our final pack? In oh, this man. Box opening. This $90, if this is a booster box hollow, opening, especially if it's a Charizard or it's Blastoise, is, this guy's going to go nuts. Set that we grew up Good on commons. That shaped our childhood back in the day. It did. This was, this Pokemon was a phenomenon right when it this came out. This is nostalgia. This is the... The peak of Pokemon. This is the highest of highest. If you pull a Charizard, that is the top, most valuable, most sought after card that you could pull out in Pokemon history. Period. It is. Ooh, a Charmander. That's a good sign. We got it the is the most exp expensive card you can the pull from a pack. Go, guys. I need the most expensive cards in history are actually prize right cards, but you can't pull the them. Chat. They are. We got they were only given. They were given away as prizes. So, Charizard Psych first dead energy. is. The most expensive card guys, you can pull in a pack. Final moment. This will define the rest of this pack. We got an energy Whew. removal. I thought that was a hollow for a second or the rare. The Oof, final heart. pack of our first edition base set booster box opening. I need everybody here right now. Emily, I do want to see a hollow. Got. Come on. I want that chat blown up right now. The final, final one. Can we do it? Oh, oh my god! 
<laughs> it's a Blastoise. Oh my god, it's amazing. Coming in at seventy-five hundred dollars. Oh, that guy. We got an absolute. Oh man, what a good pull. The first edition Shadowless Blastoise. We actually got the first edition. Oh, the starter Blastoise. Everybody loves. Shut up. Blastoise 93 for this. I think you might have made that happen. So here it is. This is... He probably... I swear it. First edition. He spit on that card. Blastoise. He has to have. <laughs> this was the first printing oh, ever. Man. Let's check this card out. How beautiful is this? And it went to no one, no other than Polka Deke himself. Oh, check man. out that hollow pattern. Looking really, really beautiful. This is nostalgic. Centering edge looks really you solid. You guys are the ones that made this um, The left right side looks a little thin, but game. besides that, that's definitely it's like a hard. PSA 9. That's, again, again, I would say 9, nine, nine to 10 quality, so that's, not, that's pretty good. This Blastoise out of here. We're going to do a recap of every single hollow card that we pulled. We went against the odds here. We did some crazy, crazy things man. here. Pulling out... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine eight, hollows. nine cards, barely halfway through the box. That in itself is insane because we went against the odds guys in the poke game, and we do that here constantly all because of you guys, and I say that all the I time. I do wonder for the rest of them, is he going to weigh the packs when he sells them to the other people who possible. said don't open the packs? Especially TCA Gaming definitely made this happen, but here we go. Let's get a recap right now of the hollow pools oh, that man. we got out of this first edition base set booster box. So I'm going to go in order from the first that we got so we don't mix any of those polyrafts up because we got a bunch. We ended up getting three polyrafts, which is absolutely insane. So here we go. I would we say it's, it's disappointing, but nine of them. it's still cool, I guess. Start off here. We got the Hitmonchan. We got the Polyrath. We got a Mewtwo. Mewtwo's a good pull. Another Polyrath. Coming in with the Venusaur. Then we had another Polyrath. Man. Then we had a Chansey. We got a Nido King. And then we finished it off with the My one favorite. and only first edition base set Blastoise. Guys, that was a first edition base set booster box opening.